Thank you very much. Uh, let me go straight to the report that you just saw where we have some members, um, some residents of your state who have uh, condemned the uh, demolition of hotels in the state. Reactions, we have seen reactions everywhere. Some are not very happy with you about that. So please tell us, um, after this nationwide condemnation, those, even some from your support base, do not seem to be in, in support of that action do you regret the decision you made to demolish uh, these hotels? Well, with all due respect, I do not regret the decision we took at the Security Council that um, we are going to demolish the hotels. Now, you know in Nigeria, so many people jump into issues without knowing the facts or having the facts at the background. We always act on sentiment, we always act on the emotions, of course. I understand that. I understand that. Take, for example, when we signed um, the kidnappers law that we said, look, if anybody, any kidnapper who owns a building, and we find out that that building belongs to the kidnapper, the government was going to uh, destroy such buildings, we do not see any of such uh, uh, reaction. We are talking about life and death. And what happened in this case? It's unfortunate. I just watched the video. And I hope you are also going to show the video of those that were named. We are talking about protecting lives and property. It, it, it's not in my place. I can't be a happy man that I want people to be unemployed. I can't be a happy man that people's property have been destroyed. But I'm talking about life. You cannot take people's life simply because you do not want to obey the order. Now, this COVID-19, we have tried as a state. Now look, see what is happening in other states. This state was the first state that locked down the borders. So many people were shouting, are you a country to lock down the borders? But I'm happy today. I'm happy today. People are seeing what will cry here, that if we do not do this, the, the number you see in River State will be something else, and we may not have the capacity to contain it. And therefore, there is the need for us look, to say, lock down our borders, let us not have the influx of people coming in, so we'll be able to contain those who are inside our state. Now, we have signed executive orders, this is a little order seven. And we told people, whether we are wrong or where we are right, that is a matter of the court to decide. So many people practice law on social media. So many people practice law on pages of newspaper. So many people are human rights activists based on when they go to channels or come to newspapers to talk. I cannot say that what I have done, as far as I'm concerned, I can say what I have done that worked because it was a security council decision. But I may be wrong. Let the court pronounce that I was wrong or the security council was wrong. It's a different matter. But then what, what happened? I called all traditional rulers. I called all chairman of councils. Listen, the index number we have, from what it has shown, more of these index numbers are from hotels. So what do we do? Let us show that the hotels for now and find out how the number will increase. If it increases and with what we have, we're not okay, it comes from the hotels as we have been given the number. But if it's not so, we don't know what to do. So a security council met. It's okay. This is what we're going to do. And we announced to several years, look, don't do this. And you can't believe it. People are always sentimental. People are always emotional. People capitalize on politics. Even those who, who preach that what you do was wrong, that are based in Lagos, that are based in Abuja. Now, we sent in our task force to all the local government. Look, go to all the hotels. This is what has happened. The executive order said, do not operate for some time now. And what happened? They beat them. They named them the Shonton Grant, and yet the governor, 
and somebody would just look at the picture. I don't even know whether they will survive tomorrow or not. Look at what, what they did to them. And who did this? Who was responsible for this? A man, with all due respect to you, it's even embarrassing to me. A PTB youth leader in that local government was responsible for this. To say nobody can direct him on what to do. But he has the powers. He has the right to name other people, to shoot them. Look at, look at them lying down in the hospital. Nobody knows what tomorrow uh, will be. Governor Wiki, uh, would you respect um, to 